Swamp donkey down. The swamp donkey is down, guys. Today we're gonna have a blast getting the swamp donkey fixed up and hopefully we get some new brake lines. Got a little bit of new chops going on here. Let's have some fun. Hey there, folks. This is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. This is nothing to do with farming today. This is something to do with this old pickup truck. So the swamp donkey is broke down. For some reason, the fuel pump won't pick up fuel. I had a little bit of a fuel leak. I had a line that was just leaking and drawing air, so it won't pick up fuel. I've got some cool ideas, and the brakes are actually completely shot on the thing because I had a friend of mine take his foot, Nathan, Nathan, uh, went, uh, 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 boom, and, and the brake line completely exploded last time. So come along today as we get the Swamp Donkey back up and running, and we try our best to get these brakes fixed so that we have some brakes on this thing. It has absolutely no brakes whatsoever. No e-brake, no brakes, no, no nothing. Nothing to stop it other than transmission and turning it off. So <laughs> it's going to be a good time today. Let's have some fun. Woo! I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid to play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. All right, folks, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm channel. If this is your first time here, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you back. In case you've been living on the surface of the moon and you haven't been here, this is the Swamp Donkey. The Swamp Donkey is a 1969 C10 pickup. It's got a 350 four bolt main engine, a four speed in the floor, and it's not on its original frame. And I have no clue what kind of frame it's on but I think it's a 1975 three quarter ton pickup frame that's been shortened and a C10 body's been mounted on it. So what we've got here, we got it running in the last video and my good friend Nathan mashed the brake pedal to the floor and like Fred Flintstone <laughs> and busted the brake line. So we've got to replace a brake line. It has absolutely no brakes. It's only sitting here because this is a fairly flat spot and the tires are getting flat. It's got Mickey Thompson Super Swamper 35s on it, man. This thing is a beast. Wait till we get it started. It sounds sweet. So it probably hasn't ran in, well, ran down the highway. It hasn't been on the road probably in 15 years or so. But today's challenge, get it running, get some brakes on it so I can drive it around the farm and use it on the farm. So let's get busy. Knock, knock. <laughs> in all its glory, Rust, <laughs> welcome to Rustland. Uh, man, I wanna thank whatever subscriber sent me this croil, dude, this stuff. I have my fingers crossed. The brake line is froze up on the little brake block right here. Uh, I guess you call it a distribution block. Guys, tell me what you call that little brake block where all the brake lines go in and get distributed throughout the vehicle. But thank you for the croil, this stuff. <laughs> It puts uh, PB Blaster to shame. This stuff is awesome. It's expensive too. So thanks for the hookup. Now we've got a few wasp nests in here, which is not cool at all. So we're gonna kind of work our way around the wasp nest. Anytime anything sits still here in North Carolina, it gets bees in it, so, or wasps in it. So first of all, let me turn the key and let you guys hear it and see what it's doing. Ooh, wasp, ooh, wasp, where are you? No, you're in here somewhere. Whoa. Okay, all clear? All clear, here we go. Let's hit it. All right, we're in neutral. We'll hit it. We're just getting zero fuel, zero fuel at all. So, let me show you my solution to zero fuel. And it doesn't involve me sucking on the uh, <laughs> on the fuel line. It's gonna be pretty simple, I hope. So this is what is referred to as a clickety-clack. So we've got a clickety-clack, and what I'm gonna try and do, uh, I went ahead and made myself some leads. So it comes like this, and it comes ready to hook up to your battery or a fuse, uh, fuse block, I guess. What I did was I made some extensions for this critter. So the clickety-clack will run without being a permanent fixture on the vehicle. So yeah, you can hear it, listen. So what we've got to do, this is a self-priming. It says 
Designed for most import four and six cylinder carburetor applications. I did not read that before I bought it, but we're not gonna use the clickety clack anyway for anything other than priming this system. And what I gotta do, I'm guessing, okay, so there's your arrow for flow. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect our fuel line. There went that croil, I knew it wasn't gonna last. My gubba tool, there we go, come on up there. So, we've got our fuel line off, and my theory is I can hook this guy up and prime through the fuel pump, okay? So that's my theory. We're gonna give it a test run here. Uh, let's just hit it and see what happens. Right here is our fuel filter. Not getting anything yet. I know there's gas in the in the vehicle I put gas in there okay so no fuel yet I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this my plan is to go ahead and turn the engine over a few times and see if the regular fuel pump will pick up fuel and then start pumping it appropriately so here goes no bummer yo this thing should be drawing fuel but it's not drawing any fuel it's just making noise Here's my theory. There is an obstruction in this old fuel tank. So I'm gonna blow into the line and see if I hear it gurgle. <sighs> no, man. Let's go get the pancake compressor and we're gonna hook up the air hose and we're gonna blow back through this fuel line right here, back into the tank. I think I have an obstruction somewhere in the tank. That's my theory. Oh, how nice it is to have that little DeWalt compressor, man. That thing kicks butt. Love my pancake compressor. So, I've got my little air blower nozzle on there. Got my fingers crossed. Here we go. There it goes. It bubbled in the back of the fuel tank. I could hear it bubbling. Now, let's try our little clickety clack here. See what we get. Oh, I got, I got fuel already. Wow. I immediately got fuel. That's awesome. I got some nasty, nasty fuel too. Good thing about these old trucks <laughs> is they'll run on anything, man. So I got fuel. I'm going to hook that back to the carburetor and we should have Swamp Donkey running within minutes. Awesome. I'm going to move the ATV so I can drive it on up to the house. No wonder it's sucking air. Everything's just stuck together in here. Uh, fingers crossed. Just Put a little bit of gas on the uh, on the engine there. I think it'll be all right. <sighs> Famous last words. Here we go. Contact Swamp Donkey. Come on, dude. It's not picking up fuel now. Must certainly have a clog uh, in the in the fuel tank just must be a little piece of trash it keeps covering up where the fuel goes out i'm gonna blow it out again i can hear it in the gas tank in the back blowing bubbles in it what in the world oh it's making the gas tank swell up as i blow it in and then it's blowing fuel back through the fuel pump in theory, if I blow it in, I'll inflate the gas tank and then I'll hook it up to the carburetor and we'll fill the bowls on the carb. Okay, I heard it. Let's fire it up. What? Say what? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about right there. It likes to just chug, chug, chug like that. It doesn't like it when I give it a lot of gas. We got it, Swamp Donkey's on, baby. All right, let's drive it up and I'm gonna go get a piece of plywood to lay on underneath this thing and try to get this brake line loose. I've already taken part of it to loose and I'll show it to you, it's all broken up. Rad. 
Oh, that clutch is tight, buddy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the more it bounces, the more the hood comes up. Woo! Still trying to die. Come on, baby, hang in there. Don't die. Just keep it running. Keep it running. No brakes. Yeah, grinder in there. To... What's going on here? And chug a lug a chug a chug 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 for a little while and then it dies again. I didn't shut the hood all the way and as I was driving up, <laughs> it started coming up on me. So I'm just gonna rev the snot out of it, man. Give it, give it a little hard time here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it purrs. It just purrs. It's gonna die again. Is there a wasp in here? Yes, there's a wasp. Oh, that sounds good, baby. <laughs> there's like six wasps in there now. They don't like that smoke. <laughs> well, we've proven that she'll run and the fuel pump will work for now. I'm gonna roll down the windows and get all the freaking wasp out of here. Oh, this thing is bad. It's so bad it's good. <laughs> wasp are flying out of every crevice. Oh, check out the interior. So I've got some sticks in here, but the interior, it's not that bad. Bed, it's rusted through. But I'm gonna put a water tank in this and haul it up to my cows to, <laughs> to water the cows, and I definitely need brakes for that. We'll let it chug a little bit, and then we'll get some plywood and lay out here and see if we can get this brake line fixed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, baby. is the rev test. I like it. <laughs> you can't look at this thing without putting a smile on your face, man. It's impossible. <laughs> Love this truck. I've got it sold already, but I don't know if I want to get rid of it, man. That thing's got class, baby. Okay, let me show you the brake line that broke real quick, and I'll show you what we've got going on here. This brake line is stuck. As rusty as this truck is, you know everything, every bolt, every nut, everything is rusted and stuck. This brake line is stuck, but hopefully Croy will fix that problem. Here's what happens when you run out of space in your garage. You make concrete <laughs> outside. <laughs> so it's even concrete colored. That's like $50 worth of plywood right there. Guys, by the way, these are our meat birds, our meat chickens. Uh, that'll be the meat for the year, our chicken for the year here on the farm. There are 40-ish uh, Cornish Cross meat birds in there, so that's what you're seeing in the background. Let's get underneath here, and I'll show you what's up. Here's what our problem is, and this goes from the master cylinder, which is right there, to the block that's right in front right here. Guys, tell me what you call that block, the distribution block for the brakes. And this is what happened. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the tubing was rusted almost all the way through. So I'll have to give my buddy some credit. Now, the store did not have a pre-made setup for this. And I don't know the exact make and model of the vehicle that this came off of. It doesn't have power boosted brakes. So what I've got to do is basically make this line and take off these nuts because they are the wrong ones for the application that I have. 
this little tubing bender or tubing cutter right here we just run around this line now i've never built a brake line before in my life but it can't be that diagonal complicated so all i did was take off the factory nuts that were on this and i cut the tip off right here and we're gonna flatten that out and flare it and i went on and installed the correct nut and this will go right into my uh <laughs> master cylinder then i'll slowly ooze my way down through to the block where all this attaches and i can take a look at it right now and tell i'm gonna have to go to the auto parts store tomorrow <laughs> because this is in no way long enough i wish i could buy it in like a 10 foot length it makes more sense Ugh. wrong size this will not do so let's get down here down below and see if we can crack that nut loose i've got the correct wrench to get the nut off <laughs> down here i'll show you let me get the camera in here and show you that's the line, the one that's bent out just a little ways. And that's where I gotta take it loose from, right there. So let's get our wrench and get busy on that. Flare nut wrench, 9 16 This is a cobalt one. We're gonna go up under here uh, and see what we got. Tell me that croil works. Tell me, please. I tried this yesterday and it was not working. Oh, I'm trying to use my abs here. It's not working. I don't think I have abs. Why in the world won't it come off? The other one came off so, so easy. Everything's so rusty under here. This truck fell off the Titanic. <laughs> oh, it was the only thing that survived the Titanic. Oh, it's rounding the nut off. This is the hardest one to get to. Oh, I just rounded it off. Oh, bummer. All right, guys, we're going to call this the booger truck after this, man. This thing is all boogered up. I don't know what's what, but I do know that this is the proportioning valve. I worked on this thing until dark last night, and what I was trying to do was take loose all these lines you see on the proportioning valve, and you can see that one broke off, that one broke off, that one, oh, there's no, not one there. That one broke off. There, only one or two of them came loose like they're supposed to. That guy right there came loose like it's supposed to. This truck needs a total brake line overhaul. Everything is all rusted out. I could not source this at any auto parts store locally, so I found it on eBay for 32 bucks. We are not going to get the brakes done today. I'll take you back to the back and show you all the preparations and all the stuff that I've got. Uh, for rebuilding the brake system. I got a bunch of lines and valves and all sorts of stuff, but that's this isn't happening today. We are gonna go get the water tank and the battery died in the truck. I went to start it and it's not picking up fuel again. So we're gonna have to blow down into the fuel uh, tank again, into the fuel line. Evidently there's a big flake of rust. So the fuel tank needs to be replaced also. This is a project. This is a big time project truck. I'm not so sure, like I said, I've already got it sold as is. I've got it sold. I wanted to do a few more things to it, get it running and play with it, use it on the farm. But uh, man, if I start messing with it, I'm gonna have to spend, I've already spent 300 bucks on this stuff, just what we've done so far and we've accomplished nothing. So if I start fooling with this, I'm gonna have to spend a couple thousand bucks, I think, and I don't know if that's, if that's worth it. So let's go get, is it worth it? I don't know. Is the Swamp Donkey worth it? Is the Swamp Donkey worth fixing? Let me know. It is boogered up. It is welded. I think this is a 1975 to, to mid 80s uh, K20 frame. It's got the four speed in the floor with the granny low gear in it. So it's not like a Muncie four speed or something like that. It's, is it worth saving? I could use it as a farm truck, but if it doesn't have any brakes and I have to spend a thousand bucks on brakes, is it worth saving or should I pass this project on to somebody else? Um, like I said, I've already got it sold. Do I put another thousand bucks into it so I can put around the farm for a few weeks? No, let me know guys. Sell it or keep it. I think I'm gonna sell it or keep it. Let me know. <laughs> So back here in the back, I've got everything I need. I've got my flaring kit. I've got all my fittings that I need, tons of fittings. I've got unions in case I've got some good line that I don't want to tear out. I've got a tubing bender. I probably have one of those somewhere else already, but uh, I've got plenty of tubing. I've got uh, what we call this 3 16 and I've got 
quarter inch tubing, plenty of tubing to do the whole truck, plenty of brake fluid, and the almighty coil let me down. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. I think I'm just going to get this thing running. I accidentally left the key on it last night. I think I did anyway. The battery was shot this morning, so I slipped in a gigantic battery. I just hit the key. It started for a second, and then it died. It stopped picking up fuel. Needs a new fuel tank. Whew. There's a lot of stuff going on with old swamp donkey here. Old booger donkey. <laughs> Yeah, picking up fuel again. There's some trash in that fuel tank, man. That's all it is to it. Uh, give it a little juice here. Maybe. Yeah, she's running. She's doing good. <laughs> this thing, <laughs> I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna pull it up in the upper pasture uh, in, the, in the gravel lot. I'm just gonna park it up there. I don't know what else to do. Uh, every time I use it, I'm going to have to blow out the fuel until I get a new fuel tank. I was going to replace the fuel lines on it today. But there's no use in replacing them. Uh, th this is a total loss, total shot. Brakes, total fail. Fuel system, total fail. Um, I need a good shop that I can pull this thing in and start taking it apart if I'm going to restore it or I just need to sell it. Guys, let me know what you think I ought to do. I'm going to pull it on up there. <laughs> um, if I can do it, yeah, I'm gonna pull it on up to the top of the hill and park it. It's over. Uh, I give up, I give up on the Swamp Donkey. Uh, I don't wanna do a full restoration on this truck. It's not, it's too far gone. Let me know what you think, guys. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge. I tried today, that's all I can say, is I tried to get the Swamp Donkey back. Um, gonna have to let her go. I'm gonna have to let it go. Don't have time, and it just died again. <laughs> see you guys next time on the stony ridge i hope you enjoyed this little show uh just messing around with the old pickup good times see it Woo! Come on down to the stony ridge, bring your wife.